All right, boys, say hello to Mr. Toons or Butter. Uh, they're a parse goblin control glavier, and uh, honestly, your VOD of doing, uh, I think it was a was it a G2 Echidna, is the reason why I was like, shit, maybe we actually like trial control glavier again. Because I used to, I don't know if you know, I used to play it back in the day uh, when she was stinky. And then I switched to Pinnacle, and uh, it's full circle. We're back there now. <laughs> honestly, dude, that's like, that's like most people who end up converting to control glavier they yeah. end up coming from from pinnacle because they're just so fucking fed up of the back attack like casino and five holes <laughs> yeah shows. actually right. dude. it's horrible it sucks or like if you like if the boss moves you like crits in uh you send your red uh, your red dragon horn the boss moves comes back like something happens where like a couple of seconds pass and you're like do I, you don't even just hold Starfall and you're just like super depressed. And then and you now your rotation's off, off. like, yeah, you're you going to hold gonna, Starfall, yeah, it's oh. like desync now. It's like, it's so and, annoying, man. It's so annoying. And dude, you know, it's like, you can't even run a Critson with Glavier because it's not even efficient because two of your reds are 100%. Yeah, are guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. It's, if you play without Critson, you don't crit enough. And if you play with Critson, uh, I mean, you have to, I'm going to be honest, bro. Critson back attack synergy would be so nice for it, but it's just, it's yeah. so rough. But yeah, so I did a couple raids on control so far. So far, I'm liking it. Um, I, I feel like I, I don't know if my damage is good or not. I'm gonna be honest because I don't run meter. I just like I, I'm like paying attention to it now. But uh, you had mentioned. Actually, I guess we'll start. We'll start with what I was gonna originally ask. So I guess originally, control versus pinnacle. Uh, why is it that you actually went with control over pinnacle? I guess you kind of answered a little bit. But did you did you used to play pinnacle and then you swapped, or have you always been control glavier? Um. I actually started out as Pinnacle. Okay. It, it, it looked way more fun, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Pinnacle has the big damage button. It has Red Dragonhorn, which yeah. is honestly, like, despite everything, it's still my favorite Glavier, like, ability, Red Dragonhorn. Yeah, uh, right. it was It was fun back so, then when it was an uptime class, you know what I mean? Like, in the beginning? Because it used to yeah. be, like, yeah. It's a really good ability. And then, um... It, and then it just eventually, they just keep nerfing it, right? They've nerfed it four times. And then they eventually buffed control like three times and they gave control what what made me switch to control fully was honestly the space bar buff i don't know if you noticed it yeah whenever you consume focus or not what is it called focus meter what's our meter called whenever whenever you consume a bar your space bar comes yeah. off cooldown so like you're actually spamming space bar most of the time like your space bar is always off cooldown which makes back attacking really 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 easy with it because you're just you can just burn it constantly. If the boss rotates twice, you just space twice sometimes. It doesn't, doesn't like, matter if the boss turns. Dude. It yeah, doesn't matter anymore. You're always repositioning. So I think back uh, before this space bar change, people used to like cope and say control is like, can potentially be stronger than pinnacle. Mm -hmm. Even though like it's a entropy uptime class, which is which was a problem back then. Yeah. Because yet you had no way of getting to the back with all these like, with all these skills yeah it's like and it, now it's like realistic right now it's realistic that you can have high uptime back attack especially that like like pinnacle really is kind of in a weird spot because like it has it's it, i feel like its damage is way too conditional right you have to be back attack you have to you have a red dust right you have to hit in your shackling blue dragon it has to crit and the boss has to not move because you're you're using well, I mean, I guess Starfall isn't a charging skill, but the double Starfall hit is incredibly slow. So, like, you use a, a charging move into, like, a super slow animation, and, and it's halved. Like, if you miss half the Starfall, you're fucked, right? So it's it's low, actually low just way too much. Low-key, Cody, Starfall made me switch from... <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Ability, yeah, the, the, double, the double the double Starfall is shit. Yeah, it's really bad. The regular I, Starfall, I used to love it, but double Starfall where you have to do the... Doof, doof, like, the double hit is so fucking annoying. I just don't understand how Starfall and do you know that do you know that Reaper skill that it's like the same as Starfall but just goes over the boss? Yeah, I, I can't know what it's called by now. It's like Rage Spear or some shit. How are they in the same game? I don't, I just, I don't, I don't know. know. It's weird. I, you know what's funny? I've always heard that Reaper is just better Glaive, and I've seen more Reaper gameplay, and I'm like, wait, Loki, bro. Loki, Loki. it's actually just Glaive here, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> it's key, okay, bro. because oh, yeah. it has like the same abilities. It has yeah. Rage Spear, which is just Red Dragonhorn, right? It's mm -hmm. the same shit. Yeah. And so now you do, do you feel like hitting the ceiling? Because the thing is, there's always been that cope of like, especially at the beginning of like, uh, control has the, the higher ceiling, but I feel like in early Trixion, on it just wasn't yeah. really possible. Yeah, exactly, in Trixion. But do you feel like now, realistically, control can actually hit a higher ceiling than Pinnacle? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, um, so back then people would say, you know, in Trixion setting, control has a 15% higher like ceiling right and then people would jump into real raids where the boss is like phasing too it's like phasing mm -hmm. it's uh moving around constantly it has patterns where it's dr'd and then 
people are hitting control for like they're hitting pennies with control and they're like this uh, this shit's actually garbage yeah <laughs> and then all the pinnacle players okay so i think the people who hate the control engraving the most are actually pinnacle players <laughs> yeah, it's true. you know what i mean yeah that's actually true well it used to just not be as like probably it was not as smooth as it is now that i'm gonna be honest man having played both and it probably is because i'm still new to control but role playing control is fucking sweaty pinnacle you're like you have time, like, cause you have you have like six, seven seconds of downtime, right? You don't level ten gems, yeah. so like, you have time to just like vibe, chill. You like walk around. You have like seven skills to keep up, but control. You're actually perma on the boss. There's always damage to be done there. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. That's that's like that's like with the build. What mm -hmm. I, I that's what I disagreed with with the um the uh, the community guide. Okay. As well. So what is it that you felt is like different from the community guide, or is better from the from okay. the community guide? Could you could you actually stream me your uh? Your, um, yeah, my my your, your my character, game. like your character, like so. We're, sure, so, so I'm not like desync from your stream, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So we'll do uh this. Hold on, let me just full screen it. Go live. We'll do this, and then for this part, I'll uh swap over to this. So we go do. Oh, okay, that's. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's on the monitor. Perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, okay, do yeah. this. All right, open your abilities up. Here, let me actually stream you mine as well, so you can see mine too. Okay, so let's take a look at what you got here. So, all right. Um, could you hover the runes? I I, I don't remember like what they look like or what they were. Oh Just yeah, sure. Like, wait, oh, wait. What do you mean hover the runes? Oh, like what they actually like, like go over them like this? You mean? Oh wait, sorry. Okay. Do you see how you run three focus runes? Yeah. Okay, that's like the first thing I disagree with with control. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. You're unfortunately you're 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 gonna have to eat the green mana food and you're gonna have to run gill winds on soul cutter and and uh raging dragon slash is the first thing okay so you're saying gale winds on these are you putting purples on them yeah no, i put um i actually run additional slash on raging dragon slash now okay i i think it's better than just running quick slash okay and i run wheel of blades i don't use stampeding Oh, you run Rule of Blades instead of Stampeding? Okay, so why why did you swap it out? I think recommending Stampeding to newer control players is is wrong. Um, I think it's it's a little too much uptime. I think having three of your main DPS skills just not be stagger immune mm -hmm. can be a can be a challenge in real race. Yeah, time. you're having like you're having yeah just having no power immune on your like on three of your skills kind of. Nuts. It's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so you know how control like rotation works, right? I think it's easier if I just explain. Mm -hmm. I think you it's just. I mean, up, I'll go you ahead. You open right? up with shackling, right? You open yeah. up with shackling, and then you get you get um one half moon slash, one blue dragon's claw, and one reg raging dragon slash per any given rotation, right? Yeah. Oh, so you actually throw you use your raging dragon slash with in the opener, like in the no, no, no. no I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like as if you're looking at the the rotation as a whole. Yeah. You only get you only get one half moon slash, one mm -hmm. blue dragon's claw, and one raging dragon slash before your shackling comes off cooldown. Yeah. That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And then the 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 thing with stampeding is, uh, theoretically, you can get two stampedings off before your shackling comes off cooldown, and that's why it's higher DPS. Okay. Right. That's 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 what the, I mean, it's correct in Trixion, right? Um, mm -hmm. but I think it's pretty unrealistic in a lot of real raids. Okay. Um, I think you're better off just using wheel to grade some certain like some patterns that you know will stagger you. And okay. You can use it. To, you can use it to gap close into the boss or maneuver around the boss because it's like a it's like a two part. You can wheel one way and then wheel behind the boss. Yeah. Or you can just wheel through the stagger, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I think that's important to have in a in a kit. I think it's um, it's cope, like stagger immunity is a very strong like. Yeah, having pro prowess immunity is actually pretty prowess big. Prowess is it's very very important. I yeah, feel, that's in a true. Lot of raids. I remember in Thamian, I had to like I used to in the Thamian I was just doing when you have to darkness I would have to, I would use my thorn jab as like a power immune through the darkness so I can just keep hitting while I <laughs> and then like use my it's other skills. It's awkward. It's awkward. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. And now you you just lose your counter, which is important to have, I think, in some raids. Yeah. Like especially like a kid initial, it'll just randomly turn to you because you're the only one on the back, and now you use Thorn Jab for for a stagger. And <laughs> yeah, and you know, but if you have you to actually like an, you just look like an asshole to your <laughs> all your teammates, right? <laughs> so, um, I think I think Wheel of Blades is is underrated. Okay. Um, I think having Stampeding 
also kind of forces you to use that. Look at your chain slash. Yeah. Do you see your chain slash? Um, the triple threat. The triple threat. I feel like you're for, kind of forced into that, and I don't. I'm not a fan of that tripod. Okay. I think. I think the one where you could. Uh, what's it called? Fatal slash, maybe. Yeah, that's the other one. You take the one that makes it fully ranged. It's just like a fatal, fatal strike. strike. Yeah, Th that allows you to greed some things. Like you know, like in Thamon Gate Three Donut, you you were just kind of sitting there. When yeah, you were... I couldn't do shit. There's some things I just couldn't do because I had no ranged. I don't have you any have range no options. Range. Yeah. I, I think having that. Yeah, uh, is really important. That ranged option. So what you do, really and you good. keep you keep Soul Cutter. I assume the way it is, right? With uh, yeah, with I, this I like, thing. I like the quick slash. And so instead of entering back in with chain slash, you'll. Chain slash soul cutter, and then I assume you re-enter with wheel of blades afterwards, right? Yeah. And yeah. Or you can just, or you can just space bar. Like we have space. Yeah, bar you can just space. Don't, yeah, that's don't true. Need, we don't need anything else really. That makes sense. So you're taking this. So if I'm gonna take out chain slash, let's say, or stampeding slash, take this out. What yeah. uh, kind of tripod do you put on uh, on uh, wheel, wheel of blades? Uh, I use mobility. Excellent. Mobility. Excellent mobility, and then I assume weak point, point and then consecutive spin. Yes, sir. Grab that, and what kind of rune do you put on that bad boy? Gilwind. Gil, of course, Gilwind. Gilwind. I Gilwind everything because I don't know. I, I, I'm also like a speedy boy. <laughs> I don't like playing slow shit. Yeah, you're gonna that makes notice. Sense. You're gonna notice the difference without the without the focus runs and using Gilwind, and and how fast your rotation is. And you're gonna have some downtime, and I think having some downtime is a good thing. It, it it is kind of less punishing because the fact that you have zero downtime feels kind of shit because the thing is if you're always able to do stuff there are just times when you can't hit the boss and you it's good that you're cooling down for yeah, a yeah, bit and, and you already got your damage abilities off because of the go ones yeah. whereas the other ones you're you're kind of still looking for a window to cast or maybe the boss moves while you're mid cast you know i think yeah. it's important to get your abilities off as as fast as possible in an uptime class right and you don't have mana issues even running uh you just run the skewers the mushroom the chewy mushroom skewers or whatever that, that's it i just run the chewy okay. mushroom i don't even need i don't even need any supports or mana mana um synergies really yeah just all i need is the green food and one focus run on shackling on um, shackling interesting straight. i'm gonna try the log and see if this hits do you run bleed on your thorn job or do you prefer i guess quick recharge doesn't really do oh. anything on this no, I use quick recharge. Oh, actually, it actually makes a difference. Okay, yeah, quick re recharge it does on it. Make a difference. Yeah. Do you put bleed somewhere else? Is there anything that, or you just like run it like this, no bleed? I I try. I swap between bleed and quick recharge, mm -hmm. but I've been liking quick recharge more because I've been, I've been high rolling. So <laughs> you just <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's your only realistic option is to put bleed or quick recharge on. Yeah, orange that's true. Yeah. Can't really. And. So let's say an example rotation would be you would shackling into your blue dragons, half moon, and then you would chain slash, soul cutter, and then wheel of blades, and then probably, and then you would actually wouldn't any no. raging? No, 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 no. I, that's another thing I wanted to bring up with you is uh, half, you know, half moon slash is, do you use meter, Cody? No. Are you a meter enjoyer? Okay. You no, might no, no, no. You're using meter if you want to like, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> min max your control, because this is a, this is a sweaty engraving. Okay. But okay, so I'm gonna screenshot what my what my echidna like gate to look like this week. Okay. So half moon slash compared to BDC is like I think thirty or forty percent, thirty percent more damage. Yeah, that's actually kind of huge. It is huge, and. A lot of uh, the half moon slash like damage is front loaded into the the slashes itself, not the NATO. Mm -hmm. view. So I think sometimes when you use blue dragon's claw first, you know how it moves you back a little. Yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit. I think sometimes like it, your half moon slash like misses a little bit. Yeah, it does happen. Uh, That's true. If the boss moves yeah. a little bit, you actually don't get. You're just getting the tornado. It doesn't hit with the with the actual blade. That yeah, is true. That's that's bad, right? Yeah, that kind of sucks. That, that is your highest like damage ability. That does more damage than fucking anything actually yeah like look, look at the cast you see the casts uh mm -hmm. on to the right you see where it says 85 on soul cutter and chain slash and 60 on half moon slash okay this is how many times you've cast it or this is how yeah, many so times it hits technically right no how many times you cast it oh shit okay oh well, bro i was counting oh. this as like i was like how'd you kids cast 700 fucking okay yeah, yeah 60 i see that <laughs> so, so so you see how like little half moon slash is cast compared to the other ones but it, it does more damage anyway that's how yeah. important it is to like to land this ability okay that makes sense in its entirety so I think it's, um, it also feels better to use Blue Dragon's Claw second because you can cancel out of it mm -hmm. with Soul Cutter. 
Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Do you still keep the... I, I assume you swap the Conviction Judgments? Like you put con, uh, yeah, Conviction yeah, on... Them. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So we'll do yep, uh, this. Smart. There we go. And, uh, okay, that's actually a good point. I did not know that. It feels, I actually it don't feels know better. That. It feels better to do it this way, I think. So you. So then your example rotation is uh, Crit Sin, Half Moon, Blue Dragon, Chain Slash, Soul Cutter, Wheel, and then Red Dra Raging Dragon Slash. Yeah, or you can you can honestly do... Soul cutter into chain slash into wheel. Like, it doesn't matter. Soul cutter into chain slash. It, yeah. Okay, the, just you're just feel, okay. The, it, the it, order. it actually just depends on the pattern. Sometimes you have mm -hmm. to chain slash because the boss is moving away. But I noticed on your meter, raging dragon slash actually is your second highest skill, and uh, wheel of blades is actually the worst. So, your raging dragon slash, do you pry it a little harder over wheel of blades? Uh, we, no, Raging Dragon Slash does just does a lot more damage. Though. Yeah, I guess I was using Quick Slash before. Eh? Before it was like uh, maybe that's why it seemed like solo. So the the thing with Wheel of Blades is, you know how before I told you um you can get two Stampedings off per rotation. Mm -hmm. You can only get one wheel off per rotation. That's like uh, ah that, the trade off. That's what, that's what the thing is. Yeah. Okay, I see that makes sense. Interesting. And so overall, this does less, less damage than uh, Stampede. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see if I like it. I might swap back to Stampede, because also even just using the space where to get back in, I kind of liked how Stampede felt, to be honest. But, That's fine. But I even mean, just a power mean on this is pretty sweet. Also having a nice big stagger skill, because I think also, what's this shit called? Stampede does like negative stagger, I'm pretty sure. It yeah, doesn't it does, do stagger. Yeah, so it's it's your Wheel of Blades. It's kind of a nice like filler skill when you have to throw stagger, but you don't want to... Use your like rotation. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like sometimes I, I was using my top bar essentially for most of, when I'd have to stagger, but most of this is not very high stagger. I guess I'd throw in like a like a raging dragon slash and then like the top bar, you know what I mean? So that's why also why I use additional slash is because I can just wheel an additional or yeah, I found it. I found it what I saw that I wouldn't use this quick slash because I'm like, fuck, it feels like I mean I guess it makes sense if you have literally no downtime, but uh I guess because you give yourself some downtime, you can take more damage on raging and then kind of split a bit better. And Raging Dragon Slash moves you forward a little bit too. And it also, so if you look at additional Slash, it's it doesn't ha suffer the consequence of minus 50% rage. Or a range, I mean. Yeah, exactly. So you could hit from further away. Yeah, that's, that's something that would happen sometimes. Sometimes I'd be like slightly off or the boss would move slightly forward and it would just fully miss. And I'm like, because <laughs> I'm also, I guess I'm also used to the Raging Dragon Slash additional Slash distance, right? I've been playing Glavier for a long ass time. So sometimes I would just send it thinking I'm like, oh, it'll reach. And then you like, you know, <laughs> you're just yeah. like, you're just standing there. Like there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, that means I have to change some tr my gems. Do you put a? I assume you put a cooldown gem on raging now. How does your gems change when you uh, play this build? Um, you just do. So you see how you have stampeding, the two stampedings. Yeah. You would just do. Um, actually, you don't have full tens. Let me look at your. What's yeah, your I got seven? a bit of a funky. So I have. Wait, what? What's on your seven? My seven is half moon. Half okay. moon slash. Does that desync with? No, with, it stays uh, perfectly Chicago? synced with. Uh, no, shackling. it stays. Yeah, it stays perfectly synced with sh shackling. You only need a seven for it to stay perfectly synced. Okay, perfect. Uh, you're fine then. I mean, what's your nine? Uh, it was raging dragon slash, but that's because I was told before it was my lowest damage, or I guess in the guide and then the damage chart it was the lowest. But I guess now I'll probably swap raging with uh, whatever stampeding slash is, and then what do I do you, with the cooldown? Do I, that what do I do nine. With this? That nine can be um, wheel. Yeah, okay, that's nine, nine will become wheel. Yeah. And then And then let me see that. What's the other nine cooldown? The other nine cooldown is uh, shackling. I see. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying okay, let me see if I get this. So you're saying turn this into wheel mm -hmm. and then I just put another damage on my guess to put a raging dragon slash. Like I'll get rid of one actually wait, can I get No no one? no, you would you would just get rid of no, you would just change the um the stampeding slash cooldown gem. Yeah. Into uh uh, Raging Dragon Slash. And then, do I have a damage jump for this already? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking cooked yet. Yeah, okay, there we you go. You already have one. Yeah, yet. I have to swap them. I'm cooked yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so I just swap this to Raging, swap this to uh, Wheel, Wheel and blades. then swap the cooldown into. Let me write this down, actually. And then, the fuck does this turn into? That turns into. That can be Raging Dragon Slash. Yeah, okay, you, you would put that on RDH. Okay, so you put this on uh, or RDS. Or you could just sell it and run a level seven raging dragon slash if you care. Does it does it does it make a difference? It, I guess you could it, just like it, it doesn't make a it doesn't make a big difference. It, it comes up a little sooner for like for uh if you need it, but you only get one per given rotation, so it doesn't change anything. Okay, all right, that makes sense. All right, so we'll swap this stuff around. I'm probably gonna like DM you after just to like reassess. I'm gonna forget it, but 
We'll saw the gems around and then uh, we'll try this out. Don't get me wrong, stampeding is theoretically like more DPS, mm -hmm. theoretically, but I feel a lot of the time it's not it's not realistic. It's it's just theoretical. Yeah, no. just there's too much happening. The thing is, you can't actually have perfect uptime, right? Most of the time, you're not no. so you're not going to get as many as you're supposed to be getting, like per rotation. And then it's just wasted. It's just wasted DPS because I noticed that was happening a lot in Thamine or even Echidna. Sometimes it would just be like I would get let's say one set off. And then maybe I get like one skill or two skills out of like the off rotation or whatever, right? The, and then you would go back to my bottom bar, and that was off cooldown. And yes. I feel like prioritizing yeah. that is just like so much more important. And now you and what I did was I moved some of the damage from stampeding into that additional slash tripod and raging. Yeah, and, and so it becomes a bigger piece of the pie. And that kind of make, and that makes up for it. And I changed the rotation a bit. I think it's it's just I don't know with this setup that i use you get your damage off so much faster mm -hmm. and the, the the stampeding rotation and I, I i've never been like out dps by another control player so I, okay. I don't think i'm doing it wrong and what would you say for um oh you're awakening i see you actually use your awakening <laughs> yeah you can, now now you get um <laughs> opportunities to use your awakening. Okay, you actually have enough downtime that like casting your awakening yeah. isn't a DPS loss? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I, I, because, like, think about Snake Clash. Mm -hmm. In Snake Clash, I have about two, two point something seconds of downtime. Mm -hmm. And I that, that that's a good opportunity to cast an awakening, and that's not bad in a natural window, right? Okay, that makes sense. Using your awakening isn't that bad in a natural window. Yeah, that's true. And also, you can kind of precast it. You could, like, th jump up, send it, and then you're like, or I guess you do it afterwards. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know, chilling. And what I have some questions about T4. So, what do you think about like control in tier four? Do you see it becoming like I guess we're getting like a surge skill, right? We're gonna be getting like a surge skill thrown in. Um, do you see control actually like kind of like prospering in tier four? Do you even see actually? Do you see it staying entropy in tier four? It will definitely stay entropy. Okay. Um, I think ambush master and or ambush master is uh, still slightly stronger than the other like mm -hmm. alternatives and you're just going to run that anyway because you're going to be back attacking regardless for the yeah. crit rate and the the damage i think i think i'm looking at non positional pinnacle is is what what i might play in tier 4 oh, you I think, think not, you think non positional pinnacle i ah, fuck i might be swapping back then cuz i i, I non positional pinnacle too. would hit dude i'm going to be honest like not being entropy is so nice. it's so it's so bad being entropy yeah yeah, yeah. So I want you to understand something. I don't I don't play control because I'm like dedicated to it. Yeah, you're not um, like in love with it. It's not like you're uh... I'm yeah, I I play like what I think is stronger at any mm -hmm. given time. Yeah. Um cuz I'm not like competing I feel like pinnacle players like hate control players and control players like one out DPS. Yeah, they make players. it their personality type of shit like you feel like Yeah, it's yeah. weird when our when our comp our true competition is like it's like surge and yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean. We're like, we're we're, we're not fighting other engravers. Yeah. We're fighting like the OP engravings. And if you like MVPing, if you want to like MVP in most of your lobbies, you're gonna want to just want to play what's stronger for your class. Yeah, I that think makes right, sense. I think right now with these new raids, these Trixion raids, I think it's control. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Pinnacle can sometimes out DPS control if the boss like phases enough. Yeah, if you um, get enough patterns where the boss is just gone or whatever. It, if if the if the support like on your side is is just a beast with mm -hmm. like 90 90 60 or 90 90 70 um and you get really into because pinnacle astro windows are insane right yeah you do a fuck like, ton of damage if everything crits and is back attack like it's if the yeah. lottery hits you pinnacle has a fucking insane ceiling i'll be honest like when yeah. it works out it's nuts it actually is nuts it's insane but yeah. the problem is the damage buttons are just so bad <laughs> yeah that's true the there's such horrible damage buttons. Even though they do good damage, they're just they're just they just bad. feel bad to press. I I hate that the Korea had that meta build, dude. They just I feel like no one on the balance team actually plays Glaive, yeah. and so they just bounced it off like the Frankenstein build that Koreans built to just make the class function fundamentally because it was like in a weird spot where like your engravings were like like you're going into red stance with like four engravings on and shit. Like it just didn't really make any sense, right? So like they made this weird Frankenstein build, and then that's what they ended up making the meta. Build. I don't know. So it was so jank. I and you know what, Cody? I th I think the the devs like just don't want that entropy built to be to be meta because you know they, they kept nerfing it and they kept buffing the nightmare. <laughs> yeah, tripod. they kept buffing control. <laughs> yeah, they buff control and then they would buff the you know the nightmare tripods where it's like just 100 percent crit rate. They'll just add crit damage to those, and I think that's what they want like pinnacle players to play. But but then they realize like you know this the shit that they made entropy is too op to not use. Yeah, that makes sense. It actually is way too powerful. 
I mean, man, I'd be down to go back to the guaranteed crit tripods, dude. If they if they make that stuff actually useful, mm -hmm. make it just do regular damage and not crit damage, like it'll be it'd be pretty nice. Like I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like it's not that bad because you know they removed uh, entropy set, right? Um, well, sort of. They kind of like they added it in with that other. Like that's the thing. It seems like entropy got its ceiling. That's why I was not sure if like glaive in general is going to be hitmaster, because both specs have like engravings that could work for it. And on top of that, like it seems like entropy ceiling got lowered. Like it seems like they kind of they chose like the worst again. option like for entropy because like so my idea on entropy before I knew about the changes was ideally. Technically, entropy is balanced. The issue with entropy is that it's unpleasant, but technically, it is very balanced. The game, it, it, it just is, because it goes by class by class, not by playstyle, right? And so, they have to either just get rid of it, because it doesn't even make sense to have positionals in this game, in my opinion, without having a dedicated tank. Yeah. Um, but adding in a bit of damage to compensate for when you miss doesn't work, because if you lower the ceiling, you're changing something that right now is currently balanced in the meta, and you're fucking because most classes that are entropy, besides like a handful, almost every class is like a it's a big damage class for the most part, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And besides like like control and like taijutsu, every other class is like you have like your you cool down, you do your damage, right? So and most players should like again, I don't run meter, but usually when you see when I see my parts, whatever, most people are running around like, you know, 85, 90% back attack uptime under highest damage skills. So like by removing like by adding in supplemental damage. But lowering the ceiling, it's like, okay, so you're just fucking destroying entropy because no matter what, the, no, the, the only two classes benefit from that, really. Everyone else gets completely fucked over, so. And they, they realized this, and that's why they just, like, made this shit where Surge does like, double the damage. <laughs> of everybody right? else, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, uh, and they, they, I don't know if you saw the Reaper also one looks also insane. Yeah, right? the Reaper like, changes seem nuts. The Reaper changes after, actually after seem they get sick. After three swoops, they just get 70%. Yeah, that's actually just nuts. Yeah. So, the, so they know like what they did. They 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 understand and they're doing it anyway. And I don't I don't I don't think the Glavier one looks that enticing. I think we're probably gonna still be mid. Yeah, to... we're probably gonna be pretty mid. I do agree. It's yeah. it's uh this they both they're essentially getting two surges. Like it's just gonna be kind of uh like a little strange. We're getting just too big buttons. Well, the thing that they did with the gauge doesn't even make sense because. You have to use um. Have, did you did you see it? You yeah, have to, you have to, yeah, when you you yeah. use an X skill that then buffs your next skill that gets used, but can only be reactivated after stand swapping. What I assume so is going to end wanna... up happening is you're swapping back yeah. and forth. You're probably going to take the 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 what's it called? Like Starfall, you know that line you take concussion. You're probably going to take firepower, right? You're going to take extra meter gain. You're probably going to crit sin, swap red, buff yourself, RDH, Starfall, swap back to blue. Uh, I you're going to probably use then your half buff, half moon, raging. And then swap back to red, uh, thrust forehead, and then swap back to blue and just jerk off until your girl thumbs are back up and just like it'll probably just be My jumping back God, and forth. Bro. Try doing that with, like while fucking yeah, well exactly exactly while fighting a boss. You're and on top of that has to be entropy, right? And if there's any animation to that buff, you're depressed. I mean, that's it, I'm gonna be honest. It's probably just gonna get like some fucking. I yeah, hope I, I hope it just makes your weapon glow for a little bit. I, I don't really care. For <laughs> yeah, <it. laughs> I assume they're gonna just make it normal. I think there's some class. I, okay, I will say from what I, I read, all the notes for every class. Yeah. Some classes got really good reworks because it seems like classes that they actually play, and then there's some classes that just got surge because we're not the only ones that just got surge. There are a couple classes where they're just like, yeah, fuck it. Uh, you press X and uh, you do a surge. It's like okay, like I don't yeah. know. I, they do the Zerker one looks horrible, where it's like they get HP back from man. Wait, or what? Is that what it is? They get HP back? I don't remember what it was. They actually get HP back? Bro, it's, it's so. It looked bad. That's rough. That's actually pretty fucking rough. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. So, what do you think? Okay, out of curiosity, why do you think Pinnacle is going to end up going like non entropy? I'm curious to see like, what your take on it is. Oh, because of the, the gauge and X thing, I think it's. it's You're just adding shit to this, this horrible rotation that we had anyway. So I think yeah, it's to make it even more conditional to make it to expect I, entropy. Yeah, so I don't think it's I don't think it's realistic to tr back attack with with all these holding skills with this X, right? And also, I think you have you might have to take the guarantee tripod on RDH because it's going to be so much of your damage pry that if you just don't crit, it might be bricked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm gonna be bro. Our meta builds always end up being the same thing. Like I feel like like the it's just all the. Like, bro, there was a build apparently with Sorks or some shit, I remember a while ago, where they run like 50 something percent crit or like 60 percent crit. And like, it's built around you have to have crit sins. This is back when crit sins were like 18 percent or whatever, right? Like, yeah. you have to have a specific kind of crit sin, otherwise, you just can't play the game. 
<laughs> bro, and like, bro, everybody ran that. It was crazy. People were fucking... It, it's... I don't know, man. I do agree, though. It is way too conditional. I find Glavier's weakness is adding conditions to the damage. Like, the more conditional damage your damage is, in my opinion, the worse the class performs overall in the meta. The classes that have the least yeah. amount of conditions perform the best. That's just how the way the game works, right? And it's, that's why Surge is so really strong. Important. It just has one yeah. condition. It's a hyper-aggressive one, but it has one condition. And Surge, probably because of that, will never be weak because they just... They really cooked with Surge. I have to say they made, like, the best class ever when they made that. But, um... Right. Yeah, uh, no, it's, we'll it's, it's, it's so important for your damage buttons to just be good. That's... I think it's um you have to get your damage off as fast as possible. Yeah, and that's true. your damage can't be interrupted too as well. Oh, it's, it's important for it to not be interrupted. Another thing I was mentioning why I thought control is gonna end up being non entropy is because a we can run keen blunt right we could we don't get crit damage well, I guess we get it so if you don't take entropy set right and instead you take Stop the right move there. speed. Stop what? right there. You have to take entropy set. It's so OP. <laughs> is that's it really a, that good? Is this, I feel that's like that's the only reason why we use. Yeah, it's it's so much better. Than, is new entropy you know. set actually buff? Okay, maybe I, just, I don't remember the. Oh, do you mean in tier four? I'm in tier sorry, four, yeah, you... yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean not. I meant oh. control in tier four. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought you meant right now. Because okay, in yeah, tier, four, tier four, entropy got nerfed across the board, so it's like, because even control, there's a set where you get bonus damage based off your excess of excess movement speed. Yeah. And so it's like a full swift class. Although I guess you don't have any movement speed buffs. So does Glaive have any skills that give you a move speed buff? I don't think I don't think control can be in a raid captain class. No. No way. Eh? You just you just have no. your natural swiftness, so maybe it won't be enough. Yeah. But with yearning nerf, probably no. Oh like, yeah, right and now, yearning nerf, that's true. Right no, now, we, we, with with the you know with the crit ring build that that we use, we don't even hit raid captain cap. We're oh yeah, yeah. I mean you'd have to play full swift, right? Because now we're getting also mana like mana yeah. like, time thing. So I would assume that like you would go full swift and then. Yeah. But mind you, then you'd be missing crit maybe because that the, the set pieces that work with that don't give crit chance. So I don't know. Wait, Cody, right now do you use? Which what's your uh, engravings? Right now. Uh I'm using this. I'm using raid, grudge, curse doll, ambush, control, and then echelon one. Let me see your gear. Oh, so you know if you uh if you use crit ring, you should use clean blunt. Oh really? If you use crit ring, you should use keen blunt. Wait, what do you replace yeah, with? I assume instead of curse doll. It's curse doll. Yeah, you can you can use keen blunt, and it's uh it's the same. It's the exact almost the exact same like. DPS. Okay. But you just you just don't suffer the consequences of crystal. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, fuck, I'm not rebuilding. Wait, why is your right. wait why is your swift so low? I rolled this bracelet. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, my the, all the jewelry is really high quality. It's just well, really high. It's like it's pretty good, but yeah. uh, it's but yeah, I rolled this bracelet and I rolled ambush and I'm like. <laughs> I feel That's you. pretty good. That's, That's pretty good. I mean, bro, wedge is fake. Wedge is fake. Yeah, wedge is bro. fake. But like ambush master three point five. On top of the fact that like realistically, like okay, the, my logic behind it is, I don't even know if I benefit from the swiftness because if I do so much damage, I oom myself. Or like if my rotate, how do I explain this? If I'm using so many skills that I, I end up ooming anyways, and there, so I mean the old build there wasn't really any downtime anyways. It was like a second or two. Like the you know what I mean swiftness is like a fake stat. Like I'm I'm pretty much at the point where if I'm if I always have skills ready to go. Then I'm just not like, uh, like what does the swiftness do, right? It's not really like worth it. Opposed to the 3.5 percent ambush master seems more worth, but I don't know. You can have both. You can have crit swift and ambush. Shit, master. I mean, I ain't gonna be rolling braces like that, homie. Right before T4, ain't no motherfucking way, man. You think it's worth? What do you? Th in your opinion, what do you think is worth more? Getting a swiftness bracelet, but not ambush master, uh -huh. <laughs> or sitting with something like this? I mean, look, you have so many options. All you need is swift. Like fervor, swift superiority, swift circulate. Swift it's gonna hit though, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna hit. All right, it's not that bad. <laughs> I still max out on my on raid captain though. I just have to eat uh, feast Wait, for everything. You? Yeah, I do it because the 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 raid captain efficiency is. I'm above it by ten swiftness, but I I still get the max efficiency out of raid. I just have to eat feast. Like I have to eat movement speed feast. Wait, you're, I'm missing three no, percent. Oh yeah. I'm missing three percent. Well, I mean, okay, then with the build I suggested, you can't do that. Wait, why not? Oh, uh, you're gonna have to eat mana food. Oh no, 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 I feast. You, there is no mana food for feast. I feast. I feast attack speed, move speed, and then I eat mana food. Well, you don't have. You don't hit cap then. Yeah, I do. In the guide, it says I'm missing three percent. Because you could either eat feast or you could eat food. But if I just eat no, feast, like, look, then I look, eat look right food. now. Look, click details. If you, uh, move you know, speed. yeah, it's one thirty. Yearning. You know, th yearnings. Yearnings twelve percent. No. Oh, 
Yeah, Wait. I'm overcapped because it's oh, I'm because I, I, yeah, I'm yeah, only I'm missing three percent and this goes five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it does cap. That's that's why I was saying the only thing I'm missing actually is just skills. But depending on how much the cooldown is, it might not like. And the old build didn't matter. This one I don't know if it's like really that big of like if that hundred swiftness is like that big of a difference uh, cooldown wise. Then like obviously then I'm losing on damage, but like as it's that or as it stood, I guess I just wasn't like you know. It's well, like a fucking second of cool of downtime, so it's whatever. Well, the the thing is, um, you're you're missing like maybe two or three percent from cooldowns or for from the swiftness loss, right? And then mm -hmm. you're also using um, like budget cooldown gems, so you you're you're you are under like efficiency right now. You think so? I mean, in the guide, this yeah. was like it, like these things line up because of the level specifically. Like I don't know, I was just based off the community guide, but apparently the way the math worked out, this and this makes it line up, so it doesn't matter. So I guess this being a ten and this being a ten doesn't affect the the rotation anyway i mean but but the thing is like if, if they're both at 10 you just have them up sooner right mm, this is actually i'm gonna go i'm actually curious i'm gonna go to Trixian. go ahead you don't need 10 cdrs i don't know i didn't do the math i'm just basing this off the community guide so i just assumed that like it's kind of like in pinnacle where like you could run uh i don't know you could run two cooldown gems on your reds on or two sorry two level seven cooldown gems on your blue skills because you just don't you will not cycle fast enough through your reds you, or you will be can done. You, can you actually get, get off two rotations of Stampeding, Soul Cutter, and Chain Slash without, without having level 10 on your, yeah. your Shackling? Mm -hmm. On your Shackling? You don't need level 10 on your Shackling to get, to get two mm, of those off. When I was playing, it didn't seem like it, but maybe I'm high. I don't know. Let's see. So no, Well, let's see. Yeah. So, wait, nice. This is, what the? A monster? There we go. This. No, wait. Am I high? No, yeah, Scarecrow, what the fuck? Why does summon this dude? Boss summon. Okay, there we go. So, the way it is now, I do this, this. Put on your attack speed. Oh, yeah, my attack speed. Uh, engravings. I guess I just put it up the full way. Where is... Uh... What the fuck is Spirit Absorption? Here it is. Is that 15? Yeah. Or I guess we have to... It's 12 technically, so you do shit like this. It's, it's fine. Just, just save it. Yeah, it's fine. You're going to cap anyway. So the way it stands now, I just do this, this, this. They line up together, right? If I put them at ten. No, 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 no. That's that's not what I mean. Uh, can you um, can you actually after you use your those three skills, can you use Soul Cutter, Chain Slash, and uh, what's the third one called? Stampeding twice. Yeah, yeah, I can. Between the rotation, I can. You, I hit everything twice. You can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. For I sure, like a hundred percent sure. Like I, I could put Stampeding back on to show you. I a hundred percent hit it. Okay. Uh, I I wasn't. I actually didn't know that. I thought you actually you needed tens to do those twice. No, no. You could do. You just do this shit here. I'll just put this on. That's so or... budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's. I, I didn't mean, know Blade, that. Blade just has weird dead gems like on on both specs. It's yeah. just it's just the way it is for some reason. Yeah. If I put tripods back in this shit, uh, what the fuck was I taking here? I was gonna make me bring this up. We do. What the fuck? Take. I, I assume we take this. Uh, enhanced strike and then ripping blades. Yeah, so let's say if you're doing, I don't know how fast I'm going to oom, so let's do unlimited resources. So you do this, this, this. And then you have your rotation back up. But they all fit. This actually feels a lot better. The little bit of like downtime too on... Uh, Oh, I didn't actually know that. Yeah. I just always had 10. <clears throat> I just, I never. I, I've always been a bit of a, a bit of a, a homeless person. So I've all, even when I was playing Pinnacle, I had full 10s, but two level seven cooldowns for blue skills. It's just, it, it just lines up. So it worked out. Oh, I, I mean, I did too. Half Moon Slash and Raging on Pinnacle is fake for the cooldown. Yeah, it actually is. It legit is. I'm curious yeah. to see what the difference is though, if I do put on 10s. So let's say here, if this, so Half Moon Slash uh, becomes 10. Let's see if it actually makes a difference. Half Moon Slash 10, and then, uh, where's this thing? And then Shackling 10. This actually might take it off sync, I just realized, though. Because this is the same thing in, uh, even in, in Pinnacle, you have this problem, too. So if I do this, this, this. Oh, they stay, they stay lined up. They're up a little bit sooner. Yeah, they're actually up. What if it actually makes that big of a difference? That's, that's, I mean, that's still a good thing for them to be up a little sooner, just in case. 
like the yeah it always does help yeah i mean shit i'm getting fixed not gonna be honest at this point but, <laughs> I feel you, I feel but it you. Do, but it does make a difference you're right it actually does because they are like in Trixie, and it might not be a, make a big difference but in an actual fight sometimes like the fact yeah. that there's up means you just like sometimes you'll be in a weird situation you're like okay i guess i'll like throw this first and then like it's a bit yeah. weird and then they're like sitting a second off cooldown because you're just going through an animation but them just being ready to go you're just like sending it you know what i mean i, th I think look i think for this specific rot okay i think for this specific rotation it mm -hmm. doesn't matter but half moon slash is your biggest hitter mm -hmm. and i think having it up sooner is always gonna be better it's always gonna be better yeah so i think having like 10 on shackling so you have your shackling up as soon as possible and then maybe you can go cheaper on the half moon and have eight or nine or whatever the sync is so it'd have to be an extra 10 on shackling and then an extra it's another it's two level tens who wait what are level tens are right now let's take a look I, I don't i don't think you need 10 on half moon oh really you think you think half moon's fine so if i just go 10 on shackling and then keep yeah half 10 moon on shackling I, th I think nine they just need to be one gem level apart actually well, you could just right? tell wouldn't you just be able to tell from the number we could just do i just do this this or 11 seconds and then if we just bring it down uh was it one or two levels for them to sync i think it was one right like what do you, you mean can do, you can do shackling 10 and half moon nine because they just need to be one gem level apart to sync oh yeah do you think so wait if i do half yeah. you can try right now in trixion while you're here okay so if you do this is it shackling? Half, moon, half moon to nine See if they sync. Oh, this. Yeah, they still they still sync. Because oh, you still have to do sync. that. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then you just need a ten and a nine. But even this, this is still gonna be eleven seconds, I'm pretty sure, even at nine, unless I'm high as fuck. Uh shackling. Even at nine, let's see, save. Well, well bro, what was that shit at before? It was at nine, right? Or was it eight? No, yeah, there, it's the exact same thing. It's it's a it's a decimal point on, on cooldown. It's like it's it's below I don't know if the game rounds up or rounds down. I don't know how how it displays cooldowns, but it's it there. It's eleven seconds regardless, even well, if it's decimal, at nine. That decimal point's like three percent DPS. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> you think? I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know about all that, dude. Let's see if I do even. What was my? What am I right now? My half is at is at seven, right? My ha the current half moon slash I'm using is it at seven or is it at nine? What am I? What's my current gem? So let me get out of uh, Trixie real quick. So if I you mean, build the CDR doesn't matter. You have seven. So, uh, you so, can have so, seven. So what? Wait. So what is it? You can have if you make get a shackling ten and you get the extra hundred swiftness. You have what? That's six percent CDR. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. It's eleven. It's still eleven seconds even with the seven. Yeah. It's it's the exact. It's, yeah. It, it's, well, it's, no. If you add a hundred swiftness or two hundred swiftness, whatever. Oh, you're if I added hundred swift. If I had hundred swiftness, then you, and then you, you get that gem level. That's like what? Um. That could be different. That's a that good six, point. Is that actually. That's six percent CDR. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the. Let's go in there and, and add a hundred swiftness. Because you're definitely missing damage off of <laughs> Yeah, that actually is a good point. Losing swiftness might be a little stinky. Uh, is it this for alt click? So let's say we're 1574. You, you which know, you technically would be, be higher. You want it to be 1590? 1598? Because you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to get some from your pet bonus too. Oh, true, 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 true. Okay, we're here. So let's take a look. If I just do this, this, it's still a second. Oh, but that comes off like... Is that... Am I uh, coping? Or is that, 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 that was a second. That was definitely a second. Is that going up? If, if I, okay, let's let's not let me take a look at this. So this, okay, that turns immediately. So I think this definitely is lower. If I bring this on, let's say hundred. Yeah, okay, you actually do see it. It it actually is faster. And then you also have a shackling ten there. If that shackling was still nine, let's it would see. Also still be a little lower. And then if we do this, is it bringing down the whole way? So let's do shackling ten. Uh, remove this. Put that in. Save. Okay, yeah, it actually just brings it down to 10. Yeah, okay, so it actually already does, it actually does make a pretty good difference. And then does this still line up? Hold on, let's do this. And they're a bit off sync, but I mean, even here, I'm going to be honest, by the time it comes off, I'm curious to see if it actually, like, if you just send it immediately after each other. Because you still have an animation. Nah, that, that actually would have to be higher. So if we do shackling at a 10, and then let's try half moon. At let's say nine, and then we wait out the cooldown. He lost a bet. Now we're actually just trying out glaive. We're trying to control glaive. Yeah, okay, that's off cooldown. So you, I would need to get a ten shackling. If I change my bracelet, then I need to get a ten on shackling, and then a nine cooldown on half moon, and it does more. Yeah.
She that's how she comes off like an, a full second uh, earlier. Man, I don't want to roll more bracelets, dude. It's painful. I mean, it hurts. I mean, uh, you can play this for what you have for like a week and see if you actually want to commit to control. Um, yeah, that's true. And then if I want to actually play, because we're still gonna be pl using this for probably for a couple months, right? Even after September, mm -hmm. we're gonna be playing this shit for like a, a hot minute. So, how are you liking it so far? Do you like it compared? So to far, it's pretty fun. I will say it's, it makes me mold less than uh, than Pinnacle. Like Pinnacle makes me mold pretty fucking hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's just the thing is, I'm in this weird zone where like I still love Glaive because it really was my favorite class before. But the lottery of playing the class just feels like really shit. Because sometimes you'll just like, well, sometimes it just doesn't work. The class just doesn't fucking, like, it just feels really, really bad. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. control doesn't feel as bad. The only thing that fucks you is kind of like what fucks everyone on Entropy is um, if the boss is up against a wall, like, there's nothing you really do about it. Mm -hmm. But even then, it doesn't feel as bad because if you just send some skills front attack, if you know, like, you're, like, he's, like they're going to go into a phase or whatever, you just, you're like, fuck. Like, a perfect example, actually, if you're in Echidna and uh, she's in basement and she does the enhanced version of her, you know, when she does, like, two swipes and then she goes up into the air. But in basement, she drops a fuck ton of shit behind her. She drops, like, those little, like, slicey things. And you kind of yeah. just have to respect that. But on control, you can just kind of, like, because your, your bottom, let's say my bottom roll will be off cooldown, I could just send my top roll not entropy and just, like, it's kind of the end of the world, right? Like, I could just send my top row as damage. It's not a, it's not great, but at least I'm doing something. And then I go back into... Uh, there's, there's so much more room damage. to is, yeah. yeah, there's just more room to just like, at least I'm doing something. You know what I mean? Whereas like Pinnacle, like what you just, you just, you just stand there. You're just waiting. Cause what are you going to, like, what are you going to send there? Anything you send is a mistake. So you're just waiting for it to be <laughs> over. It's true though. Cause in a second you can do your, you can do your rotation, but you just have to respect it. You just have to wait for it to be done. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> Anything you send there is a mistake. <laughs> it's <so>. true, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right, cool. I appreciate you sitting down with me, man. I'm gonna probably fuck around the build a little bit. I guess I have to roll bracelets, dude. Oh, it's pain. We have to roll bracelets. I'm losing you, way too uh... much. Okay, I can. I'm gonna do a thing mine this week or okay. today, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'll up. I'll upload it uh, so you can kind of see how my additional slash, like yeah. how I use it. If that That's helps. A good idea. Yeah, and then if you have any questions, just hit me up. Cool. I'm, I got I'm you. One of, I'm one of three people who probably play this in Raven. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> but uh, also, shout out to your stuff. Where, where can people find you? Do if you do like I know you like post a video to YouTube. I don't feel like do YouTube like actually as like something you want to like per, like progress uh, or. No, I just I just use it. I, I I saw like nobody was helping control players like. It doesn't exist. Yeah, but, just, but any content there. out there, so I just kind of wanted to. The show people what, what it looks like. Uh, the fact that you actually did damage with it, I was surprised. I just thought control was shit. I'm going to be honest. I just had like the stigma of how it was before where I'm like, con like, because there's always been the cope that control had a higher ceiling, but I knew like in the past, I'm like, that was just fucking straight cap when both pinnacle and control were both like high uptime classes. Yeah. Um, and then over time, I'm like, I kept memeing. I'm like, oh guys, controls the move, controls the move, but I didn't really know if it was good or not. And then I think Walperga or I can't remember who, who was, send me your parse or your parse was your, the video you made. I'm like, holy shit, I'm like, this guy's kind of like juicing, you know what I'm saying? He's doing a little bit of damage, baby, you know? Yeah, I, that was my, you know, that was like my first week of, I was progging the raid in that run. Control can do 45 mil now. Well, I can do 45 Really? Mil like ending, Echidna. ending, yeah. and this is G2 Echidna? G2 Echidna, yeah. Is that, is that high? I don't know what, like, is, is 40, well, 45, 42 mil, like, high as fuck? High is relative, because, you know, if you look at, like, like like surge death blades like fucking saturn or some shit or just doing like 60 or 70 yeah yeah okay like if you take like an insanely good player also on the most broken class yeah. in the game like that's like kind of <laughs> but it's, like it's, the performance but... of like a regular player i guess like someone who's good at the game but not like you know what i mean yeah if you want to body pug players you'll you'll always yeah, have yeah. With control yeah you know what i mean that makes sense that makes sense but yeah, dude, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, if you do have anything you want me to link as far, like where people can check you out and stuff, if you want to link me to YouTube and stuff, so I can like link in the description if you guys want to sure, check them out. Can... Show us gameplay. You're going to be posting another VOD, you said, or another another clip of your like actual like theming uh, clear? Yeah, I'm going to post a one through four this week. Cool. Um, so you can just kind of see how I played some of the, the patterns. All right, cool. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you coming on. No problem at all, Cody. Thanks for having me. Take care, homie.